Hi everyone, welcome back today and welcome to 2020. That sounds crazy. It sounds super futuristic. I don't even know where the last two years went really since we got married, <laughs> but I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday, wonderful break, wonderful New Year's, Christmas, all that good stuff. I am feeling it. I'm feeling the blues and all my pants are definitely tight. I think I'm up about five pounds now, which is a lot for me. I mean, that's usually where I jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> I do jiggle. That's usually where I sit from my wiggle room is between, you know, up and down five pounds all the time. So I'm definitely at the top end of where I'm comfortable gaining and everything's fitting a little bit tight. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> Good thing loungewear is in style. But yes, we had a wonderful break here in Vancouver. And of course, while at home, I had to visit some of my favorite thrift shops. Um, around the Lower Mainland. I think I've made three trips, which isn't bad. I've, I've done pretty well keeping it pretty tight there, but I have picked up probably six or seven pieces that I'll show you today. I have to say, all of a sudden thrifting is the, all the rage and um, everybody wants to do secondhand everything. I've been thrift shopping for like 10 years plus it used to be so much better back then because everything was actually a reasonable price. But I'm noticing now when I go into the shops, everything is top dollar. Um, it's kind of crazy. Even if I find like an H&M sweater, they're selling it for pretty much the same price. It would be on sale at H&M, which I find crazy because they're not in mint condition. We're talking just like regular old H&M sweaters that are the same price that the actual store would sell it. Um, so it's kind of annoying. Thrift shopping is changing, but doesn't mean I don't love it. I still have fun digging for that gem and yeah, over here. <laughs> Thought I was looking on the wrong side of the camera for a second there. Yeah, that's kind of the fun of it for me. I love, I love being thrifty. I'm a thrifty gal by nature in my heart. I love, I love a good deal and um, finding that hidden gem is just the best part. So anyways, I've got a pile of stuff back here. I'm actually wearing the first piece here. So I'm gonna flip you around, take you over to the mirror, and we're gonna try everything on. I'm hoping the quality of this video is going to be good enough. I actually left my regular filming camera back in Amsterdam just because it's too clunky and bulky to pack the tripod, the camera, the microphone, everything. And this camera, the iPhone 11, films pretty damn well. So I've just been working with that for the last little while and Hopefully it's good enough because it's a pretty gloomy day. So we're working with minimal light. But anyways, on to the clothing. This is the first one I picked up. I actually have another purple sweater that is very similar to this. Actually, I show it to you. Let's find it in here. Something I picked up. Ooh, this guy. Oh, it's all twisted. Clearly, my sister had tried that one on. <laughs> this one I picked up not long before we... Uh, moved to Amsterdam. Obviously, it's not exactly the same. They are similar purple tones. This one's like a really fluffy, it reminds me of like 90s clothes. <laughs> and um, what's that movie with Phoebe in it? Something in Michelle's High School Reunion, I think it's called. Someone in Michelle's High School Reunion. Anyways, it kind of reminds me of that stuff. It's really cute, cropped. Um, you would have seen that in another thrift haul. This one reminds me a lot of that, except I think this one's actually homemade. My mom does a lot of knitting herself and oh, there's the bra strap. And she took a look at it and she's pretty convinced that someone actually made this themselves. So job well done. Just thought it was so cute. It's a little bit scratchy, which I try to avoid, um, but I'm not super sensitive to the scratch. So I went for it anyways. And I figured it's different enough from that guy that I can, you know, you can never have too many purple sweaters in your wardrobe. <laughs> But I love that it had a little boat neck. It feels very sweet and elegant. I love the big chunky knit. Um, has a bit of a, a loose knit to it. So it's easy breezy. It'll be great for the spring because right now it's a little bit chilly for this. Honestly, I'd have to wear something underneath it because it is pretty breezy and holy. Um, but I love where it sits. Kind of sits cropped perfectly at my jeans here. It actually is a little bit longer and then I just tuck it underneath like so. Just a cute little basic. But again, I think this was like, I wanna say it's about $8, which I feel like is a bit much for a homemade knit sweater. I don't know, maybe I'm just old school. I've been thrift shopping for far too long and I'm just used to like the $2.99, $3.99 deals. Anyways, 
Love this one. Okay, up next is something that I was actually, oh, it just matches my phone case almost identically. I just noticed that. This is something I was actually on the hunt for when I went into the shop that day. Just something big, oversized, not um, fitted in any way covers the backside, just loose oversized knit. And I found this guy, it was exactly what I was looking for. It's actually originally from Forever 21. And normally when I find stuff from Forever 21 or just like, you know, the regular old stores, it makes me like the item less, even though I loved it when I first found it. So I like the more unique stuff, the old stuff, retro stuff. But um, in this case, I love this enough and it doesn't actually feel like Forever 21 quality. I wonder if maybe it's from you know, years and years and years ago when it was a little bit more better quality. <laughs> but yeah, Forever 21 oatmeal colored oversized knit in a size large so it fits me how I wanted it to fit. And I actually tried it on in the thrift store with my loungewear pants, like a beige colored flared loungewear pant and I thought that looked really cool for um, just like a at home loungewear outfit. I did roll up the sleeve because the proportions on me was a little bit off. And then the neck, I actually rolled inside. So it has all this extra fabric here. But when you roll it this way, I think it just makes it look a little less modern than if you tuck it in on inside. If I can get do this with one hand again. <laughs> and then you can kind of adjust how high the neck is if you want it kind of really high up, modern chic, or just for warmth, then you can pull it up high or you can put it down a little bit lower, like a bit of, of more of a mock neck. Um, anyways, it's not gonna go right with one hand, but you get the idea. Again, I think this was probably about $7, seven or $8. That seems to be the standard pricing for the shops I was at for sweater-like options like this. So. Um, I liked it enough. It came home, even though it's Forever 21, and it probably didn't cost much more than that originally. Well, it's a nice thick sweater, so maybe it was. But anyways, you know what I mean. It's secondhand. It's definitely used. It's kind of pilling and whatnot. So is it really worth eight bucks? I don't know, but I liked it enough. She came home with me. I also really love the color of this. I think this is a really universal, universally beautiful color on brunettes, redheads, blondes, all different shades of blondes. I've gone a little bit darker with my blonde on my last visit and I think it works really well with this color without washing me out too much. It has a bit of a warmth to it. Okay, this one I think is my second favorite item in this haul. There's one other thing that I like a little bit more, but it's pretty close. <laughs> this guy I actually, found I actually came across in the men's section so that's a little tip thrift shopping look men's women's all sizes look in the stuff that's meant to be going back onto the racks from the dressing rooms look at everything that's how you're going to find the good stuff but this yeah just happened to be sitting on the end of a men's rack so it was really easy for me to see and find there so it's huge oversized again um, works perfectly with like leggings, but I really like the way it looks over a little pair of cropped jeans like this as well. It is definitely way too big for me. <laughs> the sleeves look super dirty in the camera right now. Maybe they are. <laughs> so it's a bummer. I kind of have to either pull them all the way up like that, but they don't really stay that well, or roll them under, but then you lose the decorative design on the sleeve, which I really like. So I've kind of just been grunching them up like that and playing with them all day. This one was not homemade. It actually does have a store tag on it. It does look homemade though, so I like that. And this again was something that I had been looking for for a while. I found something very similar in Zara in Amsterdam. I think it was like 25 euros. Similar, co similar coloring. It has like this holiday feel to it, but um, it was more of a crop style. I like the long length and I wanted something that had both this rich brown color and cream in it as well. So that one didn't tick all the boxes. I'm glad I left it and didn't grab it because this guy I found on like day two of being home. <laughs> this one was more on the expensive side. I don't know if it's men's or they just knew it was really cool and someone would pay $12.99 for it, but I think it was about $12.99 or $13.99 Canadian. Um, not exactly a bargain for thrift shopping, but uh, again, they got me, so <laughs> they win. And it's actually not nearly as warm as it looks. Again, the knit is quite loose, so any gust of wind just comes barreling through this thing. Much better with an extra layer underneath it. Yeah, I love the look of it, love the colors. I actually wore it once already. You would have seen on my Instagram stories when I had a few of my extensions in and I did big long braids and I thought that looked really cute. It had kind of like a 
winter time in Switzerland feel to it. So yeah, love this. Worn it quite a few times already. Maybe it needs a wash because those sleeves are looking extra dirty in the camera here, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> Kidoki. So up next is this little brown coat. I'm clearly very into the brown neutral kind of stuff right now. My eye is drawn to it, so I end up with a lot of it in my cart. This just fit too perfectly to leave behind. It's originally from Joe Fresh, but I obviously got it at the thrift store. It's just a plain little crop jacket, very simple, double-breasted across the front, cropped little sleeves. It's all lined on the inside and everything, well-made. Joe Fresh is a very affordable brand from a superstore here in Canada, but it's actually really well-made. It feels nice. I think I paid $15 for this one, which doesn't irk me as much because it's a well-made, nice jacket, it's great quality. This is just one of those things that you put it on, fits you perfectly at the shoulder. It'll work well with the rest of my wardrobe, so I had to take it home. I love the way it looks done up as well. Maybe I'll just quickly do it up here. There we go. So it has a nice high neckline. I love the little asymmetrical high neck. Feels very chic and very much my style. So yeah, I think it'll look really cute over dresses. I can imagine a little skirt peeking out of the bottom of it. Um, it looked really cute actually with long gloves hanging out the bottom of it or a long sleeve shirt to cover the wrists for a little extra warmth. And it looks great done up and undone. So I wonder if I could do it like this as well. Nah, I don't like that. I prefer it done up or all the way up open one way or the other. This was another one that I tried on in the fitting room on my Instagram stories and a lot of you guys really liked it and um, were hoping that I had picked it up. So here she is. She came home with me. <laughs> okay, this is the number one winner of this whole haul. I was so excited when I saw this thing buried in one of the racks. The only problem with it is that it is a tiny bit too small. So if I was looking at this in a real retail store, I'd definitely get it maybe a size or two up. It's, it's almost too small. Like the sleeves are definitely too short and um, I can't really move too much in it. It just feels like everything's a little bit, um, you know, sausage cased in, but I just couldn't leave it behind. It is a jacket, so it's got some insulation in it. It's lined but I think I'm gonna have to wear it basically as a top, as a long sleeve top, because if I add anything else underneath it, it just, it's too tight, I, I'm really uncomfortable. So this one was reasonably priced. It was in like a true secondhand shop, like a really, really simple, tiny little place I just ran into one day. So I find those stores, they generally have better pricing than the big, you know, Valley Villages and whatnot. So this, it's a jacket and it costs I think it was $12, 12 or $13, which I don't think is bad at all for an actual coat that has, you know, lining and everything in it and insulation. It also has little pockets on the side, very tiny. Definitely can't put anything in there, otherwise I'm gonna look pregnant. I just loved the style of this. It's very 60s. It's like a, like a warm mustard kind of color. The piece de resistance on this is the faux fur collar. It actually zips off. I kind of wish it didn't have that there because it kind of cheapens the look of it to have that there, but um, I just loved it. It's a little bit darker, almost orange in color compared to the jacket. Looks so cool all the way buttoned up, but also just worn kind of like a shirt, open neck. And then it has all these uh, metal pieces that are embroidered on all over the sleeve and then all the way across the bottom as well um, and the little belt is so cute with the o-ring belt piece in the center there nice hard acrylic very 60s and it gives you a little bit of a waist which i've kind of lost mine over christmas but um <laughs> Hopefully I'll get back on the uh, hell train at some point. We'll see. You can kind of tell it is a little bit small. It doesn't fit me perfectly, but it was just too good to pass up, especially with this fur collar. Just too good. It reminds me a lot of something that you would find at like Free People or a more expensive shop like this. I, I could see this being a couple hundred dollars at Free People for sure. So um, actually, I'm going to check the tag on this. I'm going to take it off, flip the camera around and... Let's investigate. So, first look, there are no obvious tags. <laughs> Just this tiny thing that says 32 on it. And Super Kids. Oh, maybe that's why it's small. It's a kid's coat. <laughs> that makes me feel a little bit better, actually. Yeah, that's all that's on it, though. 
there's nothing else that tells me anything about this coat. So, yeah, kid's coat, lined, nice, 12 bucks well spent. So this one I've had for about two days and I've already managed to screw it up. I've got a big water stain or something on it. It wasn't like that when I tried it on the shop, I know for sure, but I hand washed it the other day and now it looks like that. So it's a cute little dress, very old. I'll actually show you the tag on this after I film this clip. Labels like this, really old stuff like this really make my heart go pitter patter. And I think someone did a big clear out before I got to the shop sometime close to when I was there because there were a, quite a few dresses, really retro old style dresses with the old label on them and pantsuits and really cool stuff that you don't often see in uh, the bigger shops like Valley Village and whatnot. So I think I hit the jackpot that day, but this is the only one, or no, I did pick up something else. So two things from what seems like it was all one dro big drop off. <laughs> the color is actually what drew me to this dress. It's kind of like a dusky blue kind of color. It's very feminine, very girly, classic, um, kind of 60s. I really liked the big angel wing kind of sleeves. I'm always a sucker for these little covered matching buttons. And then it has a little tie at the waist, which it's kind of a miracle that it still has this tie attached to it because it's just held on by a tiny little thread here. Considering how old the dress is, it is completely see-through and sheer. So it's going to need a slip. I'm just wearing my little shapewear shorts underneath it right now. So I'm not giving you quite the show, but I thought this would be really cute for spring in Amsterdam. Um, but also through the winter with a coat over top of it and my cowboy boots. I thought that might be an interesting thought. I haven't given that a go yet, so it might be a total flop. But fingers crossed I can get this stain out of that because that kind of ruins it. But other than that, it's very, very comfortable. Very flattering with the little puff sleeve there. Feels kind of like um, Belle from Beauty and the Beast or something. Just easy breezy, throw it on, one and done kind of dress. Sucker for these little labels. Like, look, it's just... Tiny bit of stitching holding it on. Um, La Belle Rose, Fashion LTD, Vancouver, BC. How cool is that? Just hanging on by a thread. I do wonder who owned this and how long it was sitting in their closet before it came to me. Now to the opposite end of the spectrum for formality with dresses. Just a really simple uh, bright red sweater dress. I like this one because it actually stays long enough when I reach my hands all the way up. It doesn't, you know, ass isn't going to be hanging out of the back of it when I reach up for anything. It stays in place and I'm really into this bright red right now. Obviously very into loungewear. Um, just what's most comfortable right now considering most of my pants don't fit all that well. Just really easy to wear, throw on, um, would look great with sneakers in the spring, with a little jacket thrown over my shoulders, or with boots right now in the winter. So yeah, pretty versatile. Definitely coming back to Amsterdam with me. I'm very excited to lounge around the house in this. And yeah, it would look great actually with like a flannel wrapped around my waist as well, just to give a little bit of shape. Definitely wouldn't belt it though, just because it's got this, this big trim along the bottom, which for some reason I feel like I just can't belt it because of that. So, and just feels a little bit more sporty and casual to have a belt around. It's just meant to be like a big sack oversized loungewear sweater dress. Okay, and last but not least are these little Levi dress pants. Um, it's actually a part of a suit, so I have the top as well. It's only sold as a set. I really just wanted the pants. The blazer just doesn't quite fit right, and the pockets here, they just look a little bit cheapy to me. I don't know, maybe I'll warm up to it. I do love the label on this guy though. That is a sexy label if I ever saw one. I'll try on the jacket as well, just so you can see. But the pants are really what I was into. They are on the big side, but I actually kind of like that now. <laughs> just big, way oversized, um, with a sweater tucked in. I love the color with this gray. They're kind of like a raspberry, dusky pink color. And they're a little bit long, so they work really great with my brown boots that I've been wearing a ton. They're very comfortable right now. There are no pockets, but um, that's okay. I asked on Instagram the other day when, if anybody would know when these would have been made and most of our guesses were around the 70s because um, they're meant to be sold as a set. So the pant actually has a slightly different label than the jacket does because they're always meant to be sold as a set and not separated. So affordable, I guess, label gets put on the pants and then the jacket gets the fancy label, which I thought was kind of cool. So yeah, for the set was $17, not bad. I would have paid 17 just for the pants, especially because they are Levi's. They have the little 
where is it? Other side. They have the little Levi's tab there and then on the button in the front here. I'm a sucker for those little details. So nice and high-waisted and they fit my new Christmas body. <laughs> There's the blazer. Doesn't look its best right now because it's a little bit wrinkled from being washed and whatnot, but I don't know. It's just not my favorite fit. I wish it was a little bit longer. I'm not gonna throw it away or anything or redonate it. I might use it just like over my shoulders or something. Look cool with the sleeves pushed up. Might be good in the summer. Not sh I do like a matchy matchy set like this, but it just doesn't really work. The pants are great top note so much. So the blazer might not be coming with me to Amsterdam, but definitely these pants. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing my recent thrift finds. Um, I think I have some goodies in there. Almost every time I walk into a thrift store, I find something. So if you enjoyed watching and seeing what I've picked up, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. So I know you love these kinds of videos. I think they're pretty much the number one favorite on my channel right now, but um, if you do give it a thumbs up, I very much appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. I do post a video every Saturday, unless there's technical difficulties or something, then it'll go up on a Sunday, but every single weekend there's a new video here on my channel. Um, if you want to see me style these items, make sure you follow along on my Instagram. It's just at Andrea Claire. The first A has two A's in it. Don't make sure make sure you don't forget that second A because I've been trying to do a lot more outfit stuff over there. Just run a couple quick little snaps of what I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. And I've already worn a couple of these items over there. So that's where to catch the styling of each one of these items. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.